Hello, my dear butterflies. How are the things going on? Okay, very good. Are you ready for today's class? Okay, let's start. Children, do you remember what did we learned in the last class? Yes, very good. The story of the elves and the shoemaker, right? Before going to today's class, let's rewind the previous part. Okay, listen to me. The shoemaker and his wife were surprised to see six pair of shoes. With the help of the elves, they became rich. The shoemaker told his wife to stay up for one night and find out who does it all. They also decided to give them a good feast. Let's start our today's class. Children, take your textbook. Take page number 127, scene 5. I am going to read the passage, scene 5. You listen to me carefully. The shoemaker's wife lays the table with food and drink. Then she and the shoemaker hide in the cupboard. The light dims out. The narrator enters. Narrator. They stayed awake. One hour went by and a few more. The clock struck two, then three, then four. Suddenly they came, the two little elves. Two elves enter, they sit on the table and start walking. The shoemaker and his wife peep from the cupboard. Peep means look secretly through a narrow opening. Shoemaker's wife laid the table with food and drink. Then they hide in the cupboard. Few hours passed. When the clock struck at four, the two elves entered. They sat on the table and start working. Okay children, turn the next page. The shoemaker and his wife come out of the hiding place and greet the elves. Shoemaker, we don't know how to thank you. The shoes you make are just the best. Shoemaker's wife, how do you work so quickly and make such beautiful shoes? Elf one, we just work. Helping others is our pleasure. Elf 2. But we cannot do it anymore now. There are others like you who are in need. We are going to them from tomorrow onwards. At that time, the shoemaker and his wife come out of the hiding place and greet the elves. The shoemaker don't know how to thank the elves for making beautiful shoes. They praised their work. Elves feel pleasure while helping others. Okay, children, I am going to read the rest of the passage. You listen to me carefully. Elf 1. Yes, this will be our final visit and this is our final shoe. Shoemaker. Won't you come from tomorrow onwards? Shoemaker's wife. But why? Elf 1. We helped you when you were in need. Now you can walk hard and live happily. The shoemaker moves to the side of the room with his wife. Shoemaker angrily. What did they say? I will not let them go. Shoemaker's wife. But they will be leaving today. Shoemaker. Pointing at the elves at work. Look, they are making beautiful shoes. I can't make such perfect shoes. I have only one way left. Shoemaker's wife. Surprised. What is that? Shoemaker. I will never let them go. I will make them my slaves. Go and close all the doors and windows. Children, why did the shoemaker decide to make the elves his slave? Correct. With the help of the elves, the shoemaker became rich. He feared that if the elves stopped coming, he would become poor again. Summary. Elves added that this was their final visit and final shoe. They helped the shoemaker and his wife when they were in need. The elves advised them to work hard and live happily. But the shoemaker became angry and he was not ready to allow the elves to go. His mind became greedy and he decided to make the elves his slaves. Okay students, it's time to wind up today's class. Thank you.